And from a health and safety standpoint, I'll go back to the management system. Um, in a health and safety standpoint, as you're doing that planning and implementation, you're identifying what what's critical information your employees need to know. And, and sometimes it's different depending on what job they're in. Um, so, so developing a training matrix, for example. And so if you have somebody going into a specific role or responsibility, you, know, you can reference a training matrix and say, okay, they're going to need this training within their first week, this training within their first 30 days, you know, this training within their first 90 days. And, and what I really like to do is, is make sure you get some refresher training in there because when you're new on a job, I mean, all of us have had a first day on the job. All of us have had a first week or a first month on the job. Every, everything is new. And so I think the most important part of any onboarding program is repetition. Um, so don't just throw them in a room on Monday of their first day and go through a death by PowerPoint presentation and then say they've got their health and safety signed off on their onboarding and, and, and that's it. And they go on to the next, you know, onboarding task. You check in if you're the health and safety, you know, trainer or representative, you know, check in with them periodically. Review it. It doesn't have to be a formal presentation, but just touch base with them.